Hello, my name's Rachel. Um, I'm just here to share a quick testimony with you um, that really came out of our spirituality group that we did on Sunday online. And Pastor Leslie just asked if I would share it with the rest of the church, really. Um, so the group was on forgiveness. And obviously that's quite central to Christianity. As Jesus actually said, if you can't forgive someone else, then the Father can't forgive you. So it's pretty serious stuff. But um, nine years ago, my father had just died and it was a very traumatic time, as it is for any family who loses someone of that significance. Um, unfortunately, following this, my sister and her husband separated and later divorced. Um, for me, this felt like pain on top of trauma, really. Um, we'd been very close. She was my only sibling. Uh, they were married a good seven years before I married and settled down. And at one point, I even had moved to live closer to them um, because we'd got on so well. Um, however, my loyalties lay with my sister. And um, in the years that followed, I had no contact with my ex-brother-in-law at all. Um, to be honest, apart from the odd gripe, it didn't cross my mind an awful lot that I held any unforgiveness. But um, very recently, I was prompted to actually uh, verbalise my forgiveness towards him. Um, so I came home from work one day and my husband had been working on his thesis and he had a question in his head and he just thought of our ex-brother-in-law as someone who might be able to help point him in the right direction. So he contacted him via the internet, as you can get hold of most people these days through the internet. Um, and they had a really positive conversation and the topic of forgiveness had cropped up um, in their conversation. And um, it just prompted me that I needed to say it myself, even though Matthew had said on behalf of both of us, which was very nice of him. But um, I felt I had to say it myself to him. So I then sent him a message um, and as is often the case, uh, at the same time, I think the Holy Spirit can convict us that we weren't always perfect in the situation. So I actually asked for his forgiveness as well and said um, I was sorry for any wrong part that I had to play in the situation at the time as well. Um, and really just said that because uh, we, were, we are gospel centred, that I forgave him uh, and I wished him the best. Um, for the future. It was a really positive exchange um, and I had a lovely response from him back as well um, and he was he was pleased to hear from me. Um, so that was all fine but it's not the end of the story because in more recent weeks his mother has actually died and um, really because of the prompting of the Holy Spirit um, it was it was good because I was able to, the gateway to the relationship was now open that I could pass on my family's condolences to him and even share some memories of his mum. And um, I'm just really grateful because it seemed an odd time that nine years down the line, why should I suddenly bring this topic up with someone I'd not spoken to for that long? And yet I felt that the, the Lord was saying I should do something about it, not knowing that there was a good reason for that. Had I have not done that at that time, then I think it would have probably been inappropriate to pass on my condolences and say, oh, and by the way, I forgive you for what happened nine years ago. Um, I don't think that would have been the right time. So I'm just grateful that God prompted me to um, have that exchange um, and that Following that, I was able to then pass on our condolences. So it's just to encourage you. Uh, forgiveness is always a good thing as Christians. Um, it's what Jesus demonstrates to us. So if you feel that prompting, go with it and you never know um, actually where it might lead. Thank you.